All right, NFL draft in the books. Patriots had a ton of selections on day three. I'm joined here by Taylor Cows. We're going to rip through all of them. This segment is powered by FanDuel. Go to FanDuel.com slash Boston. Deposit 10. Bet 5. Get 200 bonus, uh, bonus bucks. It is that simple. We're going to rip through the Patriots draft picks on day four, starting with Offensive lineman, center, I guess, Jake Andrews. This one kind of came out of nowhere. Patriots entered day four, still having not really addressed the tackle position or any sort of pass catchers. It was a surprise to many that they went interior lineman. Also one, Taylor, that kind of projected here to be a much, much later pick. You saw him coming in at sixth and seventh round in a lot of mock drafts for what it's worth. Were you surprised they went in this direction? Absolutely. I thought they were going to go offensive line. I didn't think they were going to go with a center just because of positional value. You don't necessarily expect a team to take a center at the beginning of the fourth round. Now, it does make more sense if it was kind of a panic pick and they were running out of time and they were like, all right, who's somebody on our board that we like? We got three other fourth round picks. You know, we'll make it work. Um, but Andrews himself, he's not a super athletic guy. He's got short arms. So that's why he was projected to go so late. Just there's not a lot about him physically that's super impressive. Now, that said, he is very, he's is he got really strong hands. And once he latches on to guys, he doesn't really let go. He's good on double teams. He's a team first player. He used to play right guard, was asked to play center, and was excited about the transition, actually, and was like, hey, this is probably where I'm going to play in the, in the pros. So, you know, this gives me a head start on my professional career. So, obviously, he seems like a smart guy, um, which is what you need at the center position. Really, if you're smart – and he's got a wrestling background, which is also huge because that's a big mono we mono kind of job. And it's all about leverage, hand placement, things like that. Generally, offensive line is that same responsibility. But at the center position, you know, you're helping guys out and that leverage is really important. Also, Andrews isn't the tallest guy, so he's got a lot of natural leverage. It helps him generate power. Um, so, yeah, not the most exciting athlete. You no, know, David Andrews wasn't necessarily that way either coming out of college. Uh, but he's a guy, obviously, who seems really team first, got those strong hands. He's smart identifying stunts and blitzes and picking things like that up. Uh, so, you know, I don't love the value necessarily, but, you know, that's how the draft is. Sometimes teams end up taking guys that you think are a reach. And, you know, as we know with the Patriots, they usually get out of the draft with a couple steals at least, um, as we saw as the draft went on. So, you know, again, not the best value for a center, but it, it was a choice they had to make kind of quickly. It makes more sense. And again, understandable here, uh, you know, and there were reports they were trying to trade out, kind of held on to the card till the very end, ended up taking somebody who uh, they uh, certainly must have liked. And again, one of the many players, I believe, who uh, did top 30 visits with New England. In fact, uh, many of the players they did draft did, uh, you know, did come in here. So they have a chance to meet with them. Uh, and David Andrews, who we know, uh, you know, has put nine years in the league, entering his 10th season. Uh, you know, 30 years old, he's been a rock here for the Patriots, but you wonder how much longer that's going to continue. Uh, is this a person who has potential, Taylor, to start or to fill or to kind of take over the, you know, the passing of the torch from Andrews to Andrews uh, if and when uh, David Andrews is done? Yeah, really, when I was looking at him, I thought of him as more of probably a backup. And then you hope that it's kind of a David Andrews track where he doesn't come in and have to start. But eventually, you know, he shows in practice and through what he does on and off the field that he deserves the opportunity. Uh, physically, again, like I said, he's not the best athlete. So I would like to maybe like I mentioned on one of our uh, live shows, I'd love to see Cole Strange slide in at center at some point whenever Andrews calls it quits and then they just get a guard because Cole Strange would be – like he was projected also as someone who could be an outstanding center. Um, uh, yeah, so it, the fact that they got Andrews when they already have Cody Russi, who I liked actually last preseason and coming out of school, um, if you're going to double up on centers, that's usually a pretty telling sign because Andrews isn't somebody – who has a lot of versatility because of his athletic deficiencies. Um, so we'll see. I, I think this is maybe going to be a better projection once we really get to see him and how he handles himself with NFL competition. But I think it's good that at this point in his career, he's just a backup. Okay, so that's it. Jake Andrews, uh, interior line depth. It was the first pick the Patriots assessed in the fourth round of the NFL draft. Again, you can catch all of Taylor's draft profiles of all of the Patriots players that were taken uh, throughout the uh, throughout the seven rounds here on our YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe, Patriots Press Pass, and obviously check out all of Taylor's written work and film analysis at clnsmedia.com.